Hi, this video is from Indivi.com. Indivi.com is a job portal. In this video, I'm going to talk about Spring Data JPA Repository Find All API. I'll show you the repository that I'm using in my demo code. I'm, I've created a hotel repository which is extending from the JPA repository and the entity class that I want to retrieve or save or delete from the database and the primary key data type long. JP repository is coming from the Spring Framework. I have just extended. Why do you, why do I need to use JP repository? If you don't use JP repository, otherwise what will happen? You have to write all your logic. You have to write the query to retrieve from the database. So JP using JP repository, what happen? Spring behind the scene, they are generating a lot of code for CRUD operations like create, retrieve, update, and delete. Basic functionalities. They are creating the code for you you just have to extend it and start using it so I have created hotel repository and I have auto wired in my service layer and this object will be injected by the spring framework and I can start using in my service layer I was just want to show you an example for boilerplate code so if you don't use spring support what will happen you have to write all this boilerplate code where I, I will connect to the database and create a statement and execute the query and retrieve the results and I have to iterate all the results and prepare the object so all this stuff will be removed if I start using the JPA repository in order to uh, make JPA repository to work you have to add this annotation enable JPA repository in my Java spring Java config class okay so let me run this program I'm going to show you a demo for find all I'm going to run this program in a debug mode and I'll show you how exactly this find all, all API for JPA repository works. In this uh, main application or uh, app class, I'm creating uh, the context, then I'm creating a hotel, I'm saving it, and from the database, I'm going to retrieve using find all method. And I'm going to show you the list of hotels that it creates. For demo purpose, I'm creating only one hotel. Let me show you the list of hotels. You can also uh, write customized method in the repository. Now the application is coming up. Yes. So we are trying to use our JPA repository. So these are the methods Spring is going to generate code for us, and we don't have to write any IMPL code for the, all these methods. It's already done by the spring if you see here this is a proxy object generated by the spring framework and it is injected here by the spring framework i'm going to use this find all to get all the hotel objects and i'm going to show you the list of hotels in my if you see here we have got list of hotels and we have got only one in that because we have created only one so this is the hotel that we have created so I just now showed you how to use find all API in JPA repository. Hope this video is useful and informative. Thank you and all the best.